Blessings beautiful souls, how are you today? My name is Avalon Cameron, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing of a beautiful deck that was sent to me from one of my beautiful patrons. So I have no idea what this deck is about. I just know that it came with a beautiful little note and some gorgeous little stickers from the looks of things or perhaps they're journaling cards of some description. Anyway, it's been beautifully wrapped, put together, and I'm excited to go through them and I wanted to share it with you. So let's get stuck into it because, I don't know, I'm feeling very, very excited. Okay, so here we are with the beautiful package. Came with a nice little note. Nothing too personal, so I didn't feel bad for showing it. And I love the twine. I love this twine for craft. It's so fun to use. Okay, so this is the little postcard style thing that was sent through. I think it's a really nice touch. The Spellbound Society, many blessings. We have this beautiful card, Authenticity, and this is Scardi. And then let's turn it over. We have a little crystal ball with the eye. We have a nice little crystal right here. We have a Stay Wild Moon Child sticker. And then we have the Spellbound Society, which is a really pretty logo, I think. Let's have a look at what is inside. all about this. I cannot wait to check it out. I love me a goddess or god themed deck. I just love deity for some reason. Simple little box. Oh wow, look at it. Very cute. Oh, it's got a nice little guidebook here, written and illustrated by Rachel Johnson. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. I can't wait to check it out. Let's have a look. Let's go in. This is a really beautiful little bag. It feels like a I don't know what this feels like, but it, it just feels really good. Really nice, beautiful print on it in gold. And here we have the image of the deck. It's thinner, thinner cardstock. As you can see, it's quite, quite thin, but, and the cards are quite big. I want to put it in comparison to something like this is the Sun and Moon Tarot, for instance. And so you're looking at a nice oracle card size. This is the Earth Maiden. I'm just going to fan it out to sort of get a feel. Ooh, Sia. I accept spirit. I love the illustrations. Oh. Look at Bast. That image of Bast reminds me a little bit of um, Susan Seddon Boulay's uh, Goddess Oracle. Segment. Nematona. Fortuna. Mart. Persephone. Oh, hell for all of the devotees of the Norse Goddess. Rebirth, Dark and Light. I like it. Coventina, Clarity, I like this. Kali, Oya, hmm, I miss her in red. This is my Oya here, a very true form of Oya. Nevertheless, people are entitled to view deity in the way that means something to them. Look at how beautiful this deck is. Oshun. She's got the colors right there. 
my sister is a daughter of Ocean. She would love that. Ooh, Hecate. Ariane Rod, yes. Rhiannon, yes. Celine, very nice. The Morrigan, how do we feel? Devotees of Morrigan, how do we feel with this representation? I know that there's quite a few of you out there. Ixchel and Caridwen. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful feel. I am enjoying the artwork. Love the eyes. Really soft, feminine physique. Not a great deal of diversity as far as physique goes. Uh, but having said that, I do like the representation of Crone in here. And I do like a more indigenous representation as well because Oya is Yoruba and where is she? I've lost her. <laughs> and so is Oshun for that matter. I think there's a beautiful job done here. I really do. Oh, I just I just had to go through it all over again. I just had to look at them all over again. I really, really liked this. This is the backing. I I'm not sure if I showed the backing. It's got a little, you know, triple moon there. Really nice blue, actually. I'm going to give this a little shuffle. Let's give it a little shuffle. The stock is thin. You can see it's sort of buckling. I might tilt it to the other, to the other side. Having said that, Soul Cards does the same thing. <laughs> Soul Cards are pretty thin. I'm really enjoying it. I think this is an absolutely beautiful deck. It really is. The downside to the deck, I think the uh, the cardstock is a little bit thin. And I think I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of a write-up. Nevertheless, the same argument could be said for many other decks which have far too much of a write-up or not enough of a write-up. I mean, these are just personal preferences, I suppose, at the end of the day. I think the guidebook has a really interesting layout. I'm looking at it here and it looks like it's divided into chakra energy, arcana energy, septular energy, and lunar energy. Is that where it stops? It surely does. And so there's a little chakra flavor here, sort of energy, resonant energy here. There is the major arcana within the tarot, I feel. And then the Septula, which is beautiful. And then the Lunar Energy. Very interesting approach, really. Each card has the Goddess along with the String of Keywords, the Pantheon, uh, the Association within this general scheme. Then we have a Write-Up and then we have a Phrase that you could use as a journal prompt. So all in all, very interesting. Well, I absolutely loved my experience unboxing the Goddess Spirit Oracle by Rachel Johnson. I'm very proud of Rachel for the effort that she put into creating this deck. It's not easy creating an Oracle deck on the basis of goddesses. There are so many gods and goddesses out there from a multitude of pantheons and cross-cultural perspectives, and it's impossible to please everyone by including every single one in a single deck. I do believe that the variety of goddesses that she chose to infuse into her goddess spirit oracle were really beautiful she pulled from a variety of cultures and resources and i think that that was done really well i also think that her inclusions of particular goddesses shows that she put in careful consideration and that to me is definitely something that is apparent. I loved seeing Oshun and Oya in there from my personal perspective so I feel very good about that personally but at the end of the day I think the artwork was delivered beautifully. I do think that the cardstock is a little bit thin but having said that the deck as a whole is quite a beautiful deck. It's it's quite unique. It reminds me a little bit of the goddess. Uh, is it goddess spirit? No, 
the Goddess Oracle. I think it's the Goddess Oracle by Susan Seddon Boulay. Hang on, I'll find it. This one here, the Goddess Acknowledgement Cards. It's not the same, that's not what I'm saying, but it kind of, it kind of feels a little bit similar, especially her bast uh, image. And to me, that was a really beautiful connection to see because I happen to find that this deck here is beautiful as well and very underrated. And so I really did like seeing some of that classic infusion in there. And yeah, all in all, I think it's a beautiful deck. I would highly recommend it for anyone who is interested in working with goddess and spirit and, and um, those types of themes as far as a deck goes. I think it would make a really beautiful guidance deck. I also feel like it would make a really beautiful affirmation deck and a deck to do a bit of journaling with. I think that if you are wanting to slip into spirit work or devotional deity practice or anything to that nature, then this would be a great entry point for you as well. All in all, I just love me a deity deck. At the end of the day, I love looking at the expressions of goddess and god through the eyes of artists. I just think it's really, really beautiful and quite an honor to see how others view how they aesthetically put together a god or a goddess. I'm always intrigued by how they do that and this beautiful goddess spirit oracle was no exception to that. Absolutely beautiful. I think she did a really wonderful job. Very soft feminine artwork. Very different but sort of reminiscent of some you know flavors of decks that are out there at the same time and I think all in all really nice job done and congratulations to Rachel Johnson. I hope you'll consider having a look at this deck for yourself. I'll leave the details in the description box below and hopefully it's something that will intrigue you. Much love, many blessings. Mwah. Bye!